hello everyone i hope you all are doing well so in this session i'm here with the uh issues with the fonts inside the solidworks are uh, drafting and uh, solidworks workbench only so sometimes uh, you might face the issue called like fonts are missing or sometimes a specific font let's say century gothic you won't be having some bold options inside this bolding the fonts and all okay so in this cases how we need to just uh, troubleshoot these issues inside the solidworks let's uh, see the steps here so if this is the issue so first you just check out what exactly the uh, font is missing or what and all the fonts creating the issues let's say if it is a uh, century gothic whether it is getting bold or not just check it once or else uh, some other fonts are uh, like some default fonts the bold option aradonic options and all uh, sometimes uh, it doesn't have it just check the uh, exact issue which you're facing okay with related to any of the fonts okay even sometimes uh, in uh, powerpoint also you might need some of the uh, extra fonts let's say how imported any of the uh, presentation there uh, let's say uh, 3ds fonts or other fonts if they are missing uh, what exactly we need to do that also you can add it here so here you just need to uh, look for the particular font which exactly you're missing from the google search and just download that required font okay that you can do it so once you download it you just need to double click on that font and install it so that's all so these fonts will be stored inside your system okay so why this issue will happen so what is the reason let's say if it is uh, with respect to the default fonts which are already there in a system if you're facing this issue it might be a system crash okay the previously fonts were there and few fonts were missing right now this will happen okay you need to remember that. the main reason is system crash for the uh, default fonts if they are missing like century gothic and other formats which are, you are regularly using if it is missing or if, if it is creating issues this will be the uh, main reason now let's see how exactly we need to deal with this okay so in this case you can directly go to the browser from there just uh, search for the required font let's say i'm looking for century gothic font okay download can even go to the font family we'll be having multiple options to download the fonts okay so from here we have the download now option okay so there are multiple uh, like uh, websites from there you can directly download the required fonts okay this is not the only website which you are getting at the top or whatever you are seeing right now okay in your case it might be different uh, it might be a different issue or it might be a different font issue okay just search for the same font and try to uh, just download the fonts okay Yeah, so you can see uh, from this uh, da font website, we have the multiple font options to download. Okay, whatever the regularly we're gonna use Gothic. Let's say if, and if you want to use the various, you can just select it from here, and you have the options to download here. Okay, all the types. So if you are looking for specifically, you can just uh, select from the outside one. Okay. So let me just try this basic. And let me download this okay so once you download it you just go to this file location and try to extract it 
first you extract the file we'll be having it here and these are the fonts so just double click on it and click on install okay the font will get installed now uh, where it gonna store so for that you just need to go to this control panel and from there you have the fonts okay this is the default location for the fonts can you see all the default fonts will be here the simplest way is what you can do is you can just simply select this uh, file location and you can copy these all the fonts from your colleague that also you can try later on let me just check the same thing whether it is possible or not yeah so control all control c you can copy these all the things and you can paste it in a certain folder and just carry that one into your particular uh, system which the issue you are facing if the same issue is not uh, happening in another system you can do the same thing okay so this is one more way let's say if you are looking for the uh, century gothic and all the formats will be here you can see a uh, century regular okay century gothic regular if you want bold you can even download it okay well so this is how you can just uh, deal with this particular issue so once you download and install it it will be stored inside the inside this folder once you install it uh, can you see the lemon milk light which we have installed got stored here well so this is how you can just uh, resolve this font issue if you're facing inside the solidworks now you can able to extract these fonts inside the solidworks okay that's all guys thank you stay tuned bye everyone